Hello. So we are back Monday, yeah? And uh, we have an interesting job. People ask if I'm still working here. I'm still working here from time to time. When there are complicated jobs like this one. This is a Lenovo Yoga 500 or 5, something like that. The problem with this one, you have the brightness here, okay? That will not be a problem, but when I unplug the charger, the screen goes off. Plugging back the charger, back like this back. Unplugging the charger, nothing. Okay, so we have no back like at all. So, uh, what has been done by my colleagues? <coughs> Reset the BIOS, update the BIOS from the manufacturer website. Install all the drivers from the manufacturer website, of course, before installing the Windows. So this is a brand new Windows, drivers, BIOS update, everything. So everything, including unplugging and plugging back the screen. Yeah? So they tried everything. Okay? Now we have to fix this. There's no even point opening the laptop. They try already everything. I believe this is a super I.O. issue. Or EC chip or startup chip is simpler. That's the issue with this one, and we have a problem with uh, either with uh, the signal, uh, the power on uh, signal as a touch screen. I didn't even know it's touch screen, or with the dim light signal. Okay, so we have to open this. We can see here it's broken here. Well, let's open quickly. Let's try to do it quickly. And check those two signals. Of course, we can have an inverter issue. Let's say your inverter right now is working on 20 volts from the charger. If you unplug the charger, the inverter is working probably on 11, 12 volts. The voltage from the battery. So yes, we can have we can be like three possible causes on this one. But we have to find it and fix it. Yeah, we have to work in, to work on this one with uh, with power. So we need to be careful. Okay, so we open those thingies, and I believe here we have more, right? Here I, yeah, are plastic clips here. If you have this laptop, you have some plastic clips here. Now we can take this thing out. Now my advice, if, it's, if, if you were working on a laptop like this, just uh, unplug the charger, disconnect the battery, just to be safe. Actually working with power, uh, it's a bad example. Okay, so the screen, I believe, should come out. We have some plastic clips. The screen is still working, the screen came out, and we have the screen connector, and that's not helpful, so we have to go behind of the screen, because we don't know what pin is and what are those signals, yeah? So we have to go on the back of the screen. And the inverter is not here, so I believe it's here. Try to take out the camera. Good. Okay, the screen is still on. Okay, 
and here you can see is the connector from the backlight we really have to reach the electronics from there so now we do have access the inverter you can see the inverter has the coil the chip now let's go under the microscope yeah you see the weird part you, you didn't notice so the the the, the screen it's on the place yeah the lid is closed we still have the backlight you can see the backlight why why you see this magnet here or this so on the left you have a sensor you have a hull sensor when you close the lid the light is supposed to goes off okay and the hull sensor uh, signal is going to the ec chip super io startup chip okay so clearly there is an issue On this case, we have to modify something here. Let's have a look and let's see how we can figure it out. Problem. So what you can see here, you can see the inverter. Let's take the multimeter. The multimeter is on screen. I'll take the ground from somewhere. Let's see what do we have here. So we have 31 volts you can see on the screen the multimeter on screen so the inverter is good the inverter is working because we have the backlight is on yeah? right so we have to search and i don't know which signal they are they are home, somewhere here so we have to have a look for 3.3 volt signal so what is here here is nothing what is here here is nothing. Here is nothing. Here is 31 volt. Okay, next. Let's see this resistor. We have 3.2 volts on this resistor. Okay. Let's unplug the power. Check the voltage again. Voltage goes to 2.2. So we have a voltage drop here, but I believe even with 2.2 should work fine. I plug back the charger. Yeah, I plug back the charger. Let's search. Let's see what do we have more. Here we have nothing. Here we have here we have three point six. Here on a capacitor of three point six. Here we have two point five volts. Let's unplug the charger again. Check we still have two point five there. Uh it was here. We still have two point five. Okay, so the my signals should be on this side of the chip. So here I have 7 volts. Okay, that's not good. Here I have 3.3. No, here I have 3.2. In here I have 3.2. Let's unplug the charger. Unplug the charger. Here we have 2.2. .2. 
and here we have two points. Those are from the inverter, no points, no point of test. Let's come with the power supply. Don't believe that's the problem. Three point one on the power supply, low current. Yes, uh, you can't see it. Yeah, you can't see it. But this signal being 3.3, yeah? let, let me see if I can show you. Yeah? I'll stop the light here. I don't think I can show you, but let me try. I can't see it. Hmm. You can't see the backlight, right? I think you can see it here. You can see it? No? You can see? You can see now. Yeah, you can see on that side. So on, off, on, off, on, off. That's the problem with our uh, with our uh, laptop. Okay, so the voltage get dropped from 3.3 to 2.2 volts. For dim, that will not be an issue, but for uh, lead on signal, that can be a problem. Plugging back the charger, the backlight is on. Let's check one more time. On screen multimeter. Here we have we have the on screen multimeter, right? Here we have zero. Ah, oh, sorry, I was not holding the ground. 3.2. And here we have 3.2. Unplugging the charger. Yeah, let's unplug the charger. And again, here we have 2.2. And here we have 2.2. Now, this voltage. Uh, this uh, the output of this is coming from uh, the super IO exactly from there. There should be a problem if from 3.3 is dropping to 2. Point. Not not sure where that track is going. Ah, sorry. Okay, we can see the configuration. Yeah, so that track is going to that resistor, and from that resistor is going somewhere else. Let's check before the resistor. Okay, let's check before the resistor. So uh, before the resistor we have 3.3, let's unplug the charger, I unplug the charger and before the resistor we have 2.3, okay, so the voltage get dropped even before the resistor. Now to don't upset the super IO, yeah, we don't want to upset the super IO, what we will do will come with the voltage here, yeah, with 3.3 .3 voltage here, not here, because this pin is going to the super IO, here, yeah, on the input of this inverter chip. All what we need now, all what we need is to find 3.3, .3, and you have a 3.3 .3 solid power rail on this board. Okay, 
somewhere on this board you have a solid 3.3 volts power uh, power rail <clears throat> possible here somewhere let's see Here we have a 3.2, but I'm not happy because it's going to a coil, so I'm not happy with this voltage. But I can be happy with this one. Yeah, this one, okay? So clearly here is some uh, power rail, which is, you have a big capacitor. Which here is connected to ground, and here it has... 3.2, yeah, right? 3.2, okay, and it's going to this chip. So I will use a wire from here, there, to carry the 3.3. Give me a second. Now, don't do something like that, yeah? Don't work with the power on... Uh, with the power on the laptop. This is a very bad example, actually. This is a very, very bad example. A lot of bad things can happen. Now, the picture is a lot better uh, from what you see on the screen, but actually, I can be quite precise here. Okay, so that's solid. And on the other side, where do we have to solder the wire there? Here, right? Okay, now it's fine. Let's test. Let's test together. So we do have backlight. I'm plugging the charger. And the backlight is on. Of course. Oh, you can adjust it. Yes, you can adjust it because that is only the... The LED on, not the dim light. The dim is still working. Plugging back the charger, working great. Uh, let me shut down the laptop. Let's see if the light goes off. I mean, should goes off because the 3.3 volts uh, power L, that power L is going off. So you can see the backlight is off. Let's unplug the charger. Wait, the laptop is still shutting down. Okay, let's power on. Laptop is on. Try right, just to do a short video. 19 minutes one. Uh, about how you can manage this kind of problems, which they are not related with the BIOS or with software. When actually you have, a, a, like on this case, like a signal which is dropping from 3.3 to 2.2 volts. 
Okay, so everything is uh, is working fine. Now what I will do, I will use a little bit of hot glue to solid everything. I will put all back together. Just a short example, yeah. I will stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video, and uh, see you on the next one. Bye.